Hey there, this is Vin here. Welcome to this three-part video on how you can use the webinar funnel pack. I'm doing this in three parts so that we can talk about the three major components. The first is the funnel map, the blueprint map that you'll create. The second is the landing pages. And the third is the email autoresponders. So let's take this in three separate videos and you can follow as we go along. So this first video is about the blueprint design, the map, the structure of how you want to carry out your webinar funnel campaign. So you have a look over here. This is the default. This is the framework that we provided you. Um, this is the image that you see here when you clicked on uh, get the pack now. The first thing you'll do after purchasing the pack is go into funnels and funnel map builder. This is where you can edit or customize this plan for yourself. So I've clicked on to that Funnel Map Builder, and what you'll see over there after you purchase the pack, what you'll see over there is this blueprint design, which is now showing up in your own dashboard. So if I want to edit this, now I'm just going to click on Edit, and it's just going to launch the, the Blueprint Mapping Builder. So there you go. You see the whole blueprint in front of you over here. What I'm going to do is say fit to page so you can see all the elements together. Similar to what you saw in the image earlier. Starts with the webinar registration, gets a thank you page, confirmation email, sends out the test teaser videos uh, through emails, and then gets into the reminders before the live webinar day. And finally, after the webinar is over, you have a replay and the webinar replay page. And you'll have a call to action over there, hopefully getting you lots and lots and lots of sales. On the left here, what you see are the elements which you can add into this drag and drop builder. So you have page types, um, just a bunch of ready-made page types that you can add in, webinar downloads, blogs, calendar, a generic page, a members area, opt-in, order page, sales page, sales video, thank you page, upsell, webinar replay. So a bunch of page types that you see over here. The next is connectors, you know, these uh, squiggly lines. There's a bunch of options in which how you can connect the various elements between each other. You have connectors. Then you have traffic sources. So in this diagram, particularly, we haven't talked about traffic sources. It could be Google ads, it could be an affiliate, it could be banner ads, it could be social, email. So a whole bunch of icons which you can use to add to your structure, to suggest to so a bunch of icons that you can use so that you'll be clear in your mind about where the traffic is going to be coming from. And finally, you have events which are on the page. You have click a button, form, a generic event. You have a PNG download. You have a purchase, scrolling up and down, video, pop-up survey, or email. So a bunch of events that you see over here. So the first thing you're going to have to do is consider what is the outline of your webinar funnel? There are many considerations. So the first consideration is, hey, is this going to be a live webinar or is it just going to be a recorded video on demand? Is this going to be a large audience with participation or is it going to be a small audience with participation? Or is it going to be a one-way monologue? Is it going to be you doing a presentation but you're not taking Q&A? So you have to keep all these things in mind while creating the structure for your webinar. But roughly speaking, here's a good framework to start with. So you can have the first landing page, which is the webinar registration. Send your traffic here to get them to register for your webinar. Once they've clicked, uh, once they filled out the form and they've clicked on it, it, sends them to a thank you page and it shoots them a confirmation email. From there, uh, after a few days, what we want to do is send them uh, a, another email, which is Going to, which is going to entice them to go to a teaser video. Now, we also call this a pre-frame exercise. And, and what does that mean? Well, well a pre-frame pre is where you warm up a cold audience, where you give them more context and you give them more information to get them to get the interest levels up and to get the, to get the participant to get more in tune with what you're about to tell them. The reason is that when you're doing the webinar, you want them to be in a better frame of mind to appreciate your solution. 
You want them to be more open to your solution. You want them to be more open to a purchase. And so really the pre-frame emails and the pre-frame videos over here serve to make that cold audience a little bit warmer so that they're more open to your ideas on the day of the webinar. Now, closer to the webinar, remember, it's really, really tough to get people to participate these days. So send out a bunch of reminders, maybe one which is 24 hours before, one which is a couple of hours before, and the third which is, hey, webinar starting right now. So just a few minutes before. And then you have the pages of live webinar. This may or may not be a landing page. Uh, maybe you're sending them to a go-to meeting. Maybe you're sending them to a hangout. So this is up to you. It may or may not be a live, web a live webinar landing page. If you are using a landing page, you'll need an embed code from your software provider. So keep that in mind when you're figuring out where you want the live webinar to be. And finally, once the webinar is over and people have participated and you're pretty happy, do send out an, an email, which is going to be a replay. It's going to have a recording, a link for the recording of the live webinar. It's going to send them to a landing page, which has a recording of the webinar. And what you're going to do there is also add a call to action and get people to move ahead in the purchase cycle in, in your sales cycle. So that's a good overview of what we've provided for you. Some ideas from my side, uh, you can add a, a cross sell or an upsell over here. Now the idea is that all these elements here are drag and drops. So you click on any of them, you can edit the labels, you can delete them, you can make copies. Uh, right click over here to see some options for cut, copy, paste and ordering. You have redo, undo, zoom out, zoom in, fit to page. Once you've finished, you can click on export and keep this as a uh, as an image file. Um, you can either print it out and share it with colleagues. If you're an agency, then you share it with your um, share it with your client for them to give you an approval. So it's just a good idea to save this as a separate file so that you can all all the stakeholders can get on the same page with respect to the process for the webinar. Now, let me just add one thing here just to show you how, how you can edit over here. Let's say I want to do an upsell over here just after the thank you. So I'm just going to drag and drop. I'm going to add it over here, the upsell. And what I'm going to do is just add one of those connector videos, uh, sorry, connector arrows. Take this one here, I'm going to drag and drop. And you just have to pull it and connect it to these elements. It snaps on by itself. There you go. You see it, it's pretty easy. So after the thank you page, we have a call to action, which is offering them an upsell. Th this could be something of lower value that's going to get the customer to start trusting you before they go into the higher value purchase with you. Or it could be maybe uh, an information product, which you think is going to help them in the sales cycle. So that's, that's an example of how you can start editing this uh, mind map, this blueprint for your webinar funnel. Now the next video is going to be, oh, sorry, hit on save. Remember to hit on save before you exit. So I'm going to do that now, click on save. And there you go. This is the section on how to build the blueprint map. And what you're going to do from here is then work on the landing pages and the emails. So video number two will be about building all the landing pages and video number three is going to be about the emails. Thank you and I'll see you in the next video.